Hey guys, I just passed 600 subs and I'm so excited, but I really want to spend this time to kind of reflect on some of my favorite YouTubers who not only inspire me, but I personally enjoy watching. These are going to be smaller YouTubers, some are streamers, some cover the news, some are do discussion pieces, but each one of them, you know, I consider not only my friends, but there's somebody who like I really admire and they inspire me on a daily basis. I'm going to have their link to their channel right below so you can go and sub to their channel and check it out if you're interested. There's not much more to say than grab your favorite snack. Yum, 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 yum. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to sub. And here we go. This first content creator is Nintendo Direct. He does reactions, he streams a lot, he does a lot of discussion videos, a lot of great content. But he actually has a second channel that I want to talk about here, and that's Studio Nick Tendo. And he takes some of your favorite game music and actually covers them on electric guitar. It's pretty awesome. He does everything from Sonic games to Fire Emblem, Chrono Trigger, Splatoon. And he also did an awesome, awesome, awesome cover of Mario Sunshine. Just listen to this. His creativity really brings him to another level and he just started the Studio Nintendo channel, but I think it's really great. There's great editing. I love the music. I know just how long it takes to make one of these covers, so definitely he's a great person to follow if you're just into great video game music. The Nintendo Guru. And I know what you're saying, who does this guy think he is calling himself a guru of Nintendo? Like, who does this guy think he is? But honestly, he is a guru. He might be the biggest Nintendo fan I've ever come across. And he's OG. He's been around since the beginning. And he loves everything about Nintendo. Maybe not Kirby, but, but who doesn't? This guy posts so much. He does a lot of great news. And he gives news, but he gives it from his perspective. And it might not always be the perspective of like the masses, but I respect him for saying his opinion. He also does a few other podcasts. When I say a few, I mean a lot. I know he does an Animal Crossing podcast. He does an interview show called Nintendo Talk or Nintendo Talk. No, Nintendo Talk, where actually once a week he interviews somebody from the community and really dives into like their fandom of video gaming. And also he has a great, great podcast called If We Ran Nintendo, where him and Sean Capri, another great guy, each week cover a topic and they talk about what they would do if they cover Nintendo. Honestly, Nintendo Guru is one of the first uh, really creators I got into and you know he kind of inspired me that like maybe I could create a channel too. So Nintendo Guru, thank you and everybody definitely give him a sub. Russ Lyman might be the most talented person on this list. His editing skills are amazing. I honestly think his channel, he should have hundreds of thousands of subs, but he only has a few thousand right now, but he's definitely going to grow. But his editing skills are top notch. He does let's plays, he does uh, teaches you how to do it yourself with crafts, he does like a game called pass or play where he brings a different creator on and they talk about a video game if you should play it or pass on it. He just has so much content. I think weekly he has like two, three, four videos. He does vlogs that are really entertaining. Usually I don't love vlogs but he edits them in a way that they're actually really really great. And if that's not enough he actually built his own Mario Kart. Just Check this thing out. He drives around this thing all the time. He brings it to conventions. He is a really great dude. I've asked him for advice in the past. And he's just a guy that is a must follow if you like video gaming, you like editing, and you like do-it-yourself videos. And Russ, don't worry. I'm having fun bit by bit. Next up is Rax the Great. Let me say that again. Rax the Great. That's right. This guy is something else. He's a one-of-a-kind character. He makes a lot of great top five videos. Not that often anymore, but when he does, they're great. He makes discussion videos, a lot of stuff I agree with. But more recently, he's been a great streamer. He streams like classic games, but he also streams like the most current games. Like, I don't know how this guy can afford all these video games, but if it's a brand new game, especially a Nintendo game, you could count on him streaming. And he streams almost every night. Sometimes I'm just in his chat. I don't even say anything just because he's entertaining and he's pretty funny. 
He has a little bit of edge to him. So he's not the nicest, friendliest guy. I mean, he's a friendly, nice guy, but you know, he's a little bit of edge. And that's the kind of guy I like. You know, it's very, very entertaining. He's just a guy's guy, someone you want to be around, someone you want to listen to, and someone you definitely, definitely want to watch live stream. <music> Lastly is Joseph Moran from Bad Bit Gaming. If I could pick one word to describe this guy, it would be genuine. What you see is what you get, and that comes through in all his videos. He is kind of a Sony pony but I won't hold that too much against him. But he does cover a lot of Sony entertainment, PlayStation stuff, and Nintendo stuff. What I really, really cool about him, he's able to pivot when his channel isn't doing what it wants it to, and I really respect that. For a while, he was only covering Sony, but now recently he decided to, you know what, cover up everything that he loves about gaming. And also what I really, really respect about him, he is a no negativity type of guy. He's not gonna like jump on the bandwagon and start beating up people that are down. He wants to promote only positivity. He also has a weekly podcast called The Trophy Room where him and one of his uh, friends, they talk about all things PlayStation for that week. Uh, Joseph Moran also has a great video series called, I think it's called Should You Buy, where he takes a look at a product and gives his personal opinion if you should buy that thing and honestly most of the time he's a hundred percent correct not all the time but most of the time bad bit gaming is a definitely a quality channel and someone you should definitely think about subscribing to being a content creator is not easy especially when you're doing it by yourself sometimes these videos take anywhere from two to like 10 hours to make and it's hard to stay motivated so it's great for me when I'm down, you know, don't want to make a video or want to give up. I could always go to my subscription page, see these guys making great content, and you know, it pumps me up and says, hey, Jesse, you can do it too. All these guys are unbelievable. You should definitely, at the very least, check out their stuff. I want to thank everybody. I just hit 600 subs, and this is a mark I really never even thought I would hit. Next goal is a thousand, so I'm sure it's right around the corner. Hey guys, if you like prediction videos, discussion videos, Zelda content, I love me some Zelda, definitely think about subscribing, hitting that bell, ding, so next time I go live with content, you get it right away. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Turbo Jesse, and I'll see you on the flip side.